Oh, it's a good song. Let's all go to a bathroom. <laughs> we'll all go hang out in the bathroom and we'll do it. Planet One Up. Hey everyone, I am Nate and welcome back to Planet One Up. To celebrate the Master Chief Collector's Edition eventually coming out on PC, we are going to be doing eight minute fact challenge all about Halo. Starting from... Now, originally Halo wasn't going to be a first person shooter, but a real time strategy similar to Warcraft and Command and Conquer. Not only that, but before becoming a first person shooter, Halo was originally going to be a third person shooter. Not only that, but Halo almost didn't have a multiplayer because of all of the previously mentioned changes. They didn't have time. That was until two programmers who had worked on only heard about it, Michael Evans and Hardy LaBelle, and they assured, uh, ensured that it would have that game type all by themselves. Two people made sure we had multiplayer. Also, when Bungie was making Halo Combat Evolved, it wasn't going to be a trilogy, but a standalone game. Just the one. Can you imagine just one Halo? Childhoods would be ruined. There is an Easter egg in the level 343 Guilty Spark that allows you to fly off in the Pelican. You'll arrive in an area with a Marine whose eye is sticking out from the top of their head. Master Chief, aka Spartan117, aka Demon, aka John, is actually in his 40s when we see him for the first time in Halo Combat Evolved. Bungie designers said that some of their inspiration for the game came from James Cameron's Alien franchise. Clint Eastwood's personality was used as a character reference when Master Chief was being designed. When it was released, Halo Combat Evolved only had 10 levels. It was originally going to have 25 levels. I totally would have played it if it had 25 levels, but I also think that they only cut it down to the 10 levels to make sure that they were really good levels, and that is what I want. Quality over quantity. Speaking of cut content, the cliffhanger of Halo 2 was not going to be how the game would originally end. Due to all of the problems with Halo 2's development though, parts of the campaign had to be shaved or completely removed to finish the game on time. The biggest problem of Halo 2 was that they completely scrapped the game one year before it was going to be released and they had to start again from the beginning. They scrapped the engine, got rid of all of it. The term noob tube was first coined by user 67th Raptor Bull when he was complaining about the rocket launcher on a Halo 2 chat site. Uh, Jen Taylor, the voice of Cortana, said she became so attached to her character that she almost cried while in the recording booth and she's not even a gamer, but we can still all feel. Speaking of Cortana, she was almost going to have a British accent. In one level of the Halo anniversary, there is a bulletin board with some amazing Easter eggs. There is a troll face, a have you seen my and a have you seen my goose poster. Between 2004 and 2010, 20 billion games of Halo was played online according to Bungie's records. That is roughly 2 billion hours or 235,000 years of gameplay. The voice of Master Chief Steve Dows, Downs also has the title of Chicago Morning Radio DJ on his resume. Uh, the physical form of Cortana is inspired by the Egyptian, uh, ancient Egyptian queen called Nefertiti. Uh, Halo Combat Evolved has 5,000 lines of dialogue, Halo 2 has 14,000 lines, and Halo 3 has 39,000 lines. There was a lot more that needed to be said with each game, it seems. Though there might seem like there are a lot more lines, though, uh, these extra lines actually come from characters randomly during fight scenes as you pass them. Halo was originally going to be released on PC, but when Microsoft bought Bungie, it uh, became an Xbox game in 2001 and wasn't released on PC until 2003. Also, it was going to be exclusively be a Macintosh game. Macintosh. Uh, approximately 4.2 million games of Halo 3 were sold before the game was even released. John Mayer is a huge fan of the franchise. The secret is though, is that John Mayer actually played guitar on two tracks in Halo 2. This was revealed in a documentary in 2014, 10 years after the original game's release. If you haven't read Halo, Fall of Reach, great book, recommend it. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't know that a lot of the Spartans were kidnapped when they were six. Uh, and were physically augmented and mentally trained to be bigger, faster, stronger, and smarter. Due to all of the physical augmentation, Master Chief weighs 130 kilograms or 290 pounds without his armor. He weighs 450 kilograms or 900 pounds with the armor. The armor that Master Chief wears is called Mjolnir uh, after Thor's hammer. The language spoken by the elites is actually just English played backwards. Play the audio clip of Sergeant Johnson saying go, 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 and you get the common audio clip of the elites. <laughs> Always want to do that. 
Halo Combat Evolved takes place 27 years after the war that broke out between the humans and the Covenant. There is a 7 foot 2 statue of Master Chief that weighs 125 kilograms or 275 pounds that took over 900 hours to complete. Master Chief is also the first video game character to ever get a wax statue. Halo 3 ODST was originally going to be an expansion pack to Halo 3, but became its own thing once they realized how big the game was actually getting. Bungie wanted to simply have the first game titled as Halo, but Microsoft added Combat Evolved to make sure that it could compete with the other shooters out at the time. The Spartans were created because of the civil war between the colonies of the humans throughout the galaxies. They were repurposed when the Covenant finally attacked. John is a Spartan 2 who, who was taken as a child. The Spartan 1 program saw people who were already soldiers being enhanced, but it wasn't as effective as what they thought it was going to be, so they scrapped the program. There are eight species of aliens within the Covenant ranks. They are the Elites, the Grunts, the Jackals, the Hunters, the Engineers, the Prophets, the Brutes, and the Drones. Elites are known as Sangali, which means I glorify my kin. Grunts are known as uh, Ungoni, that means Cold Monk. Jackals are known as Kigyar, that means Hateful Bandit. Hunters are known as Magalekal uh, Magal 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 Golo, that means Serpent Union. Engineers are known as Huragok, Her that means Artificial Genius. Prophets are known as Sanshayum, um, that means Worms of Treachery. Brutes are known as Jiro Nalhe, that means Wild Slave. Drones are known as Yame, that means Dishonorable King. Not only were their games very successful, but there are four Halo books detailing aspects that leads up to the game that have, been, that have made an appearance on the New York Times bestseller list. All of the Covenant ships are named after different spirits. In the death record seen in the first season of Hunt the Truth, there are some unique circular symbols on the top right, which is actually circular uh, Gallifreyan, the written language of the Time Lords from Doctor Who. So Doctor Who is in Halo. Uh, Conan O'Brien and Andy Richter, uh, Richter made an appearance in Halo 4 as a couple of Marines at the beginning of the sixth mission. The name Cortana comes from the Latin word which roughly translates to ceremonial sword. Jen Taylor is not only the voice of Cortana but she is also the voice of Princess Peach and has had roles in Dota 2, Left 4 Dead and Star Wars KOTOR. During a news report by BBC in 2012 on the conflict in Syria, they accidentally showed the United Nations Spate Command or the UNSC logo instead of the United Nations or UN logo. So that's the, they showed the logo from Halo up on there and like there is war breaking out. Um. The now removed achievement, um, oh, um, 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 Cheney, Cheney, Cheney Mania? Was actually uh, by uh, he was acquired by shooting ten opponents in a row without dying with a shotgun, which relates to the time Vice President Cheney shot his friend and said, "Sorry, you were in the way of my bullet." Good God! Halo Combat Evolved was an incredibly popular game, being number one on the chart of Xbox games, and was only overthrown once Halo Two came out. Exactly 10 years after the original game, 343 Industries released an anniversary edition that made it look so much prettier. One of the really cool things about this edition is that you can change between the old and the new graphics with a single click of the button and, and around two or three seconds of wait time. Uh, Sergeant Johnson's first name is Avery. Halo had two code names during the development. One of them was Monkey Nuts and the other was Blam! Uh, <laughs> the Halos were originally going to be hollowed out worlds uh, called Solopsis. In the user manual for Halo, there is a blueprint image of a needler behind the blueprint image of the plasma rifle. Halo Combat Evolved is the only game where you can pick overshield and active camo as normal power-ups. People thought this was a little too strong, so they changed it in the future games. Overshields didn't just decrease over time, they were actually fixed so that you couldn't lose them unless you were hit. Active camo and Combat Evolved actually kept you invisible while you were moving. Alright, there, there was still a few. There was still a few to go through that one. That's not too bad. Holy marrow. If you enjoyed that video, please make sure you like as well as subscribe and hit that bell icon just down here so you're notified when we upload more videos just like this one. Can you think of any other eight minute fact challenges that I should be doing? Let us know in the comment section down below and we might do it for you. I am Nate, this is Planet One Up, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, where's that little hook? You might enjoy this video and Subscribe, I hung this one up earlier. Whew, so much heavy, it's just a video.